Hello friends, this is DK Gautam and thank you for joining Interview Point. In this video, I am going to discuss about the introduction of .NET. Okay, so this is the most important interviewer asked question. Okay, for .NET developer. So now let's get started. So what is .NET? First of all, it is not a programming language. Okay, it is not a programming language. Okay, it is the product of is the product of Microsoft. Okay, so it does not have any definition. Actually, Microsoft does doesn't provide the definition of .NET. Okay, so and it is also don't have any full form of .NET. So Microsoft does not provide its definition and full form of dotnet okay so so now what is dotnet but we can say it is the software and we can say it is the framework that is developed by microsoft for developing different kind of applications okay by using dotnet we can develop different kinds of application okay so now let's see which kinds of application we can develop with the help of dotnet so now you can see this picture we can develop different kinds of applications so what kinds of applications we can develop with the help of dotnet web, web applications desktop applications and mobile applications so now i think you know all what is web application desktop application the application that is that can be accessed by anywhere we call it as web application like uh, gmail okay facebook that is called web application what is desktop application desktop application is nothing but we must install in our uh, system okay like a visual uh, visual studio okay and uh, blc media player okay like that there are different uh, desktop application these are called the desktop applications. So what is mobile applications? Mobile application is nothing but we are using in our mobile like WhatsApp, okay, Facebook, Messenger, and Paytm. There are different kinds of applications we can develop with the help of .NET web application, desktop application, and mobile applications. So now come to the next point. What is the advantages of using dot net okay actually it support it multiple multiple languages okay it supports multiple languages that means dot net supports 62 plus languages but the sum of languages that is developed by microsoft so what these languages these languages 11 languages that is developed by microsoft so what these 11 languages these 11 languages developed by microsoft c sharp dotnet vb dotnet j sharp dotnet f sharp dotnet c plus plus dotnet javascript dotnet windows powershell windows powershell iron python iron ruby c omega and asml abstract state machine languages okay so if you are the uh, if your background is c and c plus plus so you can use c sharp it is better to use if someone have java background they can use j sharp dot net okay like that you can choose your comfortable languages with the help of these languages and um, multiple languages we can develop different kinds of applications okay actually dot net supports mostly uh, supports uh, but not supports it supports multiple languages but mostly programmer use c sharp so why c sharp dot net used microsoft okay my uh, dot net program why they are using c sharp Actually, they are using C sharp because of it is the object-oriented program. 
okay it is object oriented from and platform independent platform independent and also language independent these these all are the most important features but this feature is the most important in dotnet actually language independent means it supports multiple inherent uh, multiple languages that means we can say here cross page uh, cross cross language uh, cross language reusability okay so suppose we can use here multiple languages the drawback in java and other languages suppose we want to develop one page in java okay and one page in another language so it is not supported by java and another language but in dotnet it supports okay that's why it is called cross language reusability it is nothing but language independent and platform independent and object oriented programming okay so now let's see dot net uh, contains two main components that is clr and vcs what is clr clr stand for common language runtime so it is stand for common language runtime which is responsible for compile the code and generate native code okay so what is native code native code code is uh, it is for understandable for machine okay that is called native code so what is vcl vcl base class library it is stand for base class library so base class library which contains predefined functions and methods okay in clr it can contain three main component also uh, that is cls common language specification garbage collector and jit compiler so common language uh, specification means that i already told you uh, in this here language independent okay cross language reusability for cross language reusability they are using cls that means they are microsoft defined that some methods so these uh, specifications for all the common all the languages are common so suppose if we are using java and c sharp and other languages so after compilation we will not get we will not get any differences between which uh, languages we are used okay so these are the uh, cls and garbage collector garbage collector is nothing but it is used for automatic memory management and jit compiler okay so jit is nothing but just in time compiler first uh, our source code suppose we have a java uh, c sharp code so first source code is uh, compiled by that uh, compiler suppose uh, c we have a c sharp code so c sharp compiler compile this code and convert it msil or we can say il code il is nothing but Uh, intermediate language okay or msil is nothing but microsoft intermediate language okay so c sharp compiler convert that code in msil code and clr after clr clr what it will do it will do it will convert the code in native code native code is nothing but machine understandable that means our system can understand that code okay so this is all about the introduction of dot net okay guys So thank you for watching this videos for more videos please subscribe our youtube channel interview fund and you can meet us on my facebook page my facebook page is www.facebook.com/interview fund and you can if you need any code that means uh, i have uh, already make videos on uh, interview programs so for programming code you can get from here my blog is www.dkinterviewpoint.blogspot.com thank you guys and i hope you enjoy this videos and don't forget to comment 
प्लीज गिव मी फीडबैक एंड थम्स अप थैंक यू गाइस ऑल द बेस्ट